In this video, I'm going to do a bit of a speed run to show you how deep scraping works on a very high level and also show you the bulk run feature in the process. So the final end result will be something in Airtable like this. Companies, got a list of companies here, and then deep scraping to get the URL and the status from this website here, Y Combinator. So I've gone to the AI tag here and these companies right here. When you click into them, they've got acquired and the URL. And that's not something available from this page. So you do have to go into this detail page. So I'm going to show how to get these companies and the details both into Airtable. Let's do it. So first, I'm going to create the robot that scrapes the list of items here. I'm not going to explain too much of what I'm doing. I just want to kind of show you how quickly it can be done. I don't need to log in, so I won't click that. And I'll start training my robots. So all I got to do is tell the robot to watch my actions. So I want to capture this list and come down here get the name, location, description, the batch, and the link. Press enter. All right, call this companies. Nope, click in and then call it companies. Nope, click in again, companies. Trying to go too fast. I know that they're about 224, so I'll say 230. And I know you have to scroll down to load more items, so I'll choose that option. Capture my list, finish recording. Keep this default name for the robot to make things quick. And while that's running, let's go build the second robot, the one that will get just a couple of pieces of info from here. So we'll build a new robot, extract data from this page. Don't need to log in again, start training. Okay, in this case, I don't need a list, I just need capture text. So just this right here visible text and this right here and I'll get the name as well press enter call this status company link and name. and finish recording that all right so now I have two robots going so this one here is done yep looks good if you're wondering why this is yellow it's because on this page this is one of the list items but it's not like the others so it does show up Say yes, this list looks good. All right, and let's pop back over here. Oh, I didn't save this one. Whoopsie. Save that, and while that's running, I'll show you that to get deep, deep scraping happening, I'm just gonna go click in here. I'm gonna download this CSV. And I'm actually going to go back to Airtable here in a different base altogether and show you why there's only one table here and not a second one. Company is gone. That's because I'm going to import it from a CSV file, upload what I just downloaded. This saves me the trouble of having to use any sort of automation or integration to get these in there, because why not? It's a simple upload. Create a new table. Yep. I'll change one thing here. I'll make this URL since that's what that is. Let's import it and rename it to companies. Okay, so we're already part way there we've got the companies and now I just got to get the company details over here so this one is now done let's finish the setup okay so now what do we do well we go to right here this is robot that got the list of items we downloaded that CSV so now to bulk run here we simply re-upload we downloaded and we tell it which of the fields is the URL to go to the detail page so we have to select the column and it is the detail page right there. Easy. And you can see here that's, yep, looks correct. I'll delete this one because that's the one I showed you earlier. It's not actually a company page. And that's all there is to it in terms of how to set this process up. You do have to have an output setting, an integration where the data is going to go. So I'm going to use Airtable. I'm going to enable Airtable syncing. Select the demo. Status company link name. So I do want to make sure name URL status. Okay, so I'd name them a little bit differently. Okay, so status URL name is what I've named them. So just to make sure they go into the right place. All right, and we'll activate the integration and run these tasks. Yes, I'm sure. Okay, so this will take a bit because there's a lot of tasks to run. So I won't make you watch it, but I'll pause this and come back when that's done loading and show you the end result. Okay, and we're back. 
Um, these are now done. I'll go to the oldest to show you. Yeah, so less than 10 minutes. So less than 10 minutes to run that bulk run. And the video up to that, that point was less than five minutes. So less than five minutes to do the work. And then you walk away, go make yourself a coffee, go call your mom, go do something, let the dogs out and come back. And you've got yourself all those details in a different table and air table. Now I did make one mistake. Um, this is called company details. And on my integration here, I did not, this was an oversight. I did not say that this was called company details. So it put into a new table, no big deal. Captured text, I'll just delete this one. It's not the biggest deal. You can technically start with nothing, um, pre-built it all and it'll still work just like this. So what you could do to make this cleaner is you could hide this, you could hide this one and maybe drag this over here. All right, so name, status, URL. And you got the companies over here also. You can, and I'll show this in a different video probably to save some time here. You can link these two such that the URL and status would show up in this one. So you wouldn't have to go back and forth. But that is a topic for a future video. And that's all there is to it. That's how you do deep scraping to get list of items in one place and then go into the detail pages to get some more information and do a bulk run to get it all into a data storage place like Airtable or Google Sheets. So hopefully you found that helpful and we'll see you in the next one.